Hey guys, Matthew Zariman here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy mobile stop motion with this app. So, I just got an iPad here. Hold on, let me unlock it. Uh, do that. Okay, so, hold on. So, you know. So, this is what the app's going to look like. So, it's called Stop Motion Studio. You just tap it. Oops, hold on. So, these are just some rinky-dink stop motions that I made years ago. But, it would normally just show this if you just got the app. And you're new at this. So, you would tap New Movie. And then, it would look like this. And, some options that I normally use. Okay, so let me just take a picture. And... Then, you could tap a picture and it gives you all these options. What I normally do is, if you want something to keep going for a long time, and it's like, where you're just like, don't want to take all these pictures, it's just like, ugh. It's like, it's so hard. But with this, you push copy on one picture, and then you only need one picture at this point, and then you can push paste on a this thing where there's nothing there there's just one picture currently then you push paste and then it's a direct copy of what you just had so you can if you want people to be talking or something like in my army men stop motions you can just like have it where it just keeps going the exact same and not look like everything's all moving and stuff and it's just way easier and then you can just keep doing that as long as you want paste paste Paste. So, you know, you can do that. And then on this little settings thing, you can do is I have on here five frames per second. So, five photos per second. So, I think that's the best way to go. It's just is better than other things I've tried. So, you know, you can hit, here's just all these pictures. And then then, I'm, so there's this thing called onion skin, I'm pretty sure, I've heard on other videos, is, if you can see, that's the picture we just took, and then, if you want to do this, when you move this little bar all the way down, that just completely shows the picture you just took, but when you have it kind of not, so when you have it about this point, you can barely see kind of like a transparent kind of like image of like what you just took. So that right there, the kind of like ghost looking transparent like layer thing is uh, the picture that I just took. And then that shows what's actually happening right now. So, so um, you can tell if where you've been and where you're taking a picture of. So if you're trying to take a picture to where it's close to the thing you took and not look like it's shaking. Because if you just have it like this, you can't really tell where you were and where you are right now so on this you can so I can look at this and line it up so just look, stare at something and try to like line it up as best you can like that and then it'll end up as the same thing so that's really helpful and so I'm gonna show you just how to make a basic stop motion so at first you're gonna need a good area good surface this isn't because this is just a demonstration but you're gonna need a good surface a good area to work in a good background you know just for your soldiers battlefields so I'm just gonna place a random American flag you can't really right there so yeah and then I'm gonna show you I use barbed wire fences for my railway gun Railway machine gun. So, you know, just that little thing that I made up. Um, so I'm going to move this back. And then, what we're going to do is make it look like it's going down the track. So, this is going to be cool. So what you're going to have is your railway machine gun. Again, it doesn't have to be this. This is just a simple demonstration. Just saying. And, okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to have it like that so you can see it good. So you take a picture. You might want to take a couple, I don't know. But what you're going to do is move him slightly. 
move him slightly to where still line up with the tracks make sure you're lining up with the tracks like they look the same because those aren't going anywhere but he is so if you can see barely like the ghost layer part of the turret right there that's where he was and that's where he is right now so be like that like he's moving slightly move him a little bit more probably lift him up and move him because it might kind of shake the track Move him a little bit more, and mostly to where you don't like skip to where he's just like over here, and then he just like he's just kind of like um, hold on, and then to where he's just like way over there, to where it just doesn't look like he's skipping. So yeah, so there he goes. So just do it little by little. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, so I'm going to kind of rush in this a little bit. But take your time is the key. Just take your time. So, uh, I'm just kind of rushing this because, you know, it's a video. I don't want to make it 30 minutes long. So, oops, sorry. So, yeah. So try to line it up. And then once, what you want to do... Once he eventually gets to the end of the track, um, so, hmm, hold on, move it, hold on, so, like that, so once he gets to the end, let me move the camera, once he gets to the end of the track, so you might want to take a three, five or so pictures or something, then you might want to move his turret a little bit like he's now ready. Oops. Sorry, something just popped up. That's okay. So, he's kind of like in position now. And he's just kind of turning the turret like he's getting ready to shoot somebody. Again, this is a very sloppy job. Just trying to go as quick as I can. Um, so, and then do this and just make it where his turret is turned enough to where he's aiming at so yeah you can do that and take a couple of pictures of that and then what you can do you might want to zoom in close to look like he's firing and then an option you've probably seen it for like the blood splatter in my videos i'm going to show you what i do to give that effect so i'm just going to do it on one of these pictures so what you do is you push plus up here on the editing thing so you push edit as one of the choices then you push add drawing this there it is a free application but there is in-app purchases so the add drawing thing it just cost a buck just one dollar which it's it's worth it it makes it a lot better um so you just push like red or something so i'm gonna make gunfire i usually don't use this in my stop motion because it would just take forever but i do do it for blood so that's what you do you just pick a color. Oops, I didn't show you. So you can scroll through any color. They got tons of colors. So you can just make it look like it's firing and, you know, you just draw on there. So it's really simple. And then what you can do is be like, there's, give the illusion that there's soldiers in front of them. This isn't, this just looks terrible because he's over, he's way over here and the tank's over there. So, yeah, it's not that good. But the soldier, let me move the camera back. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so our soldier here. Hold on, I have to move the camera back again. Uh, our soldier. So, ah, I can't get this right. Hold on. Okay, so our soldier. So you can kind of see him right there. It's kind of hard to see with the ghost lighter. So. So you just take a couple pictures of him, and then what you do, once you have a couple pictures, you choose one of those, and then I'm going to really show you how I do the blood splatter. So push edit, and push add drawing, and then since he's a green soldier, we're going to use green blood. So this is, this is literally what I do in my stop motions. So you just kind of do that, and then just make it look like a decent blood splatter. Boom, he's dead. And then you just make him... 
you know, fall down, and of course you would take a couple pictures of that. And then what's also optional is that you can do this when you're done with your stop motion. This is how I do the voice effects, and where it picks up the sound. So what you do here is you just push record when you're doing it. I'm not going to do it, but you just push record, and then I'm just going to show you. So, I'm going to push record, and then when you want to, you push stop. So, when the video is over and you push stop, and then, and then when you want to, <laughs> yeah, that was just my voice, but then you push play to see what you do, and if it's okay, this might take a couple tries to get it right, but then you push play to see what you did, and then hopefully it will be good and you can upload it. So, yeah, that is my tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.